Welcome to this week's 5 minutes of revelation and last weekend I was in Bavaria in Germany with my dad preaching the gospel and the message we brought the people there was about how to steer your life. How to steer your life into the direction that you wanted to go, the direction that God wants it to go and that's simply the direction of blessing. That's what God wants for your life and that's also what you want for your own life. See and I just want to bring a small part out of the message to you, to encourage you, to give you something to feed your faith, something to think about and something that you can actively practice in your life and thereby change your life. So because the Bible says that death and life are in the power of your tongue. See death and life are in the power of your tongue. That means that your words decide whether your life steers towards blessing or steers towards cursing. So because in James 3, if you go to it, read it, there you will see that your tongue is like the bit that you put in a horse's mouth to steer the whole horse. Or it's like the rudder on a ship that's really small, but it manages to steer the whole ship even though the wind is blowing, even though there's waves coming and currents going, this small rudder can change the direction of the whole ship. And that's what your tongue is like in your body. Your tongue steers the direction that your life goes. And that's either into blessing or into cursing. So if now you've been living a life where it's sometimes good and sometimes bad, sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down, then I want to encourage you today to inspect the words that you've been speaking. See, because if you've been speaking words of blessing and words of cursing at the same time, if you've been speaking good about yourself and at other times bad about yourself, if you've been encouraging others and sometimes discouraging them or yourself, then it's no surprise that your life is up that one day and down the next. See, because your tongue steers your whole life. See, of course, it's your motivation, it's your goals, it's the way you act and it's the way you react to things. It's all these things that steer your life. Of course it is. But see, a motivation, it's just a thought. Or a goal that you have, it's just a thought. It's all in your mind, but it's released into your circumstances, into your surroundings. It's given action and power to change your life through the words you speak. And that's why I want to inspect yourself today and to see whether you've been speaking words of blessing or words of the curse. See, because if you've only been cursing yourself, cursing others, speaking bad about yourself, speaking bad about others, talking about how you always get sick, how you don't have the money that you need, how you, you will never be able to reach your goals, how you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and think, well, you're worthless, you're useless, you can't do anything right. If that's how you've been talking about yourself, then that's exactly what you've been experiencing in your life. See, because with your tongue, you steer your whole life. Whereas if you choose to speak words of blessing today, if you start to only use your tongue to bless today, to bless yourself, to bless others, by encouraging them, by encouraging yourself, by speaking good about others and speaking good about yourself, by saying things that move you forward, that give you vision, that build up your faith by speaking the words that God spoke over you because He only speaks good and blessing over you. By doing that, you steer your whole life into the blessing. And by speaking words that God spoke over yourself or by speaking the promises out that He's given you and instead of confessing the lack, confessing the promise that God's given you, by that you give Him access into your life and now He can act in your life and change your life into the blessing. See, because death and life are in the power of your tongue. And you choose whether your life goes towards the blessing or towards the curse. And that's why today I want to encourage you to look at the words that you speak. See, when you say something wrong, then be man enough and be woman enough to, to go back to that person that you said something wrong to, apologize and make it right, only speak good. If you've been saying something wrong about yourself, some words of cursing over yourself, then come before God, repent for what you said and speak the blessing over yourself instead. You won't always do this perfectly, but I want you to start today to make a change in the words that you speak 
And before you speak, to stop and think about what you're going to say, inspect those thoughts. Are they thoughts of blessing and are they thoughts of cursing? And if they're thoughts of blessing, then speak them. But if they're thoughts of curse, then keep them to yourself. Get rid of them, cast them out of yourself. Don't speak them out and only speak the blessing because that's what steers your life into the good life and into the life that you want to live. So that's the message that we brought to those people. That's just part of it. But that's the message I want to bring to you today to examine your words and steer your life into the blessing using the words you speak. So take this with you. Be blessed by that. Don't forget to read your chapter a day and I'll see you again next week.